can you introduce yourself? Uh, okay, uh, I first came to Singapore 16 years ago, then I studied Singapore Poly first, then after that I go to the uh, uh, NUS uh, to study electrical engineering. Uh, after that I worked as a software engineer for about 8 years. Then uh, after that, then uh, I was being uh, retrenched as an engineer, so uh, I started the, this uh, hawker store uh, selling permian. What inspired you to become a hawker? Uh, okay, uh, firstly is I always wanted to do uh, F&B business because uh, I like to cook and uh, I like to uh, I like to see people enjoying the food I'm uh, cooking. So uh, I, I wanted to do a F&B business, but uh, to start a restaurant or a shop, is, it will need a lot of investment. So I think the hawker is a, a better choice for me to uh, uh, start and go into the F&B industry. Do you have this passion or whatever for like, since like when you're a kid? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, it's one of my dream to always wanted to own the F&B business uh, since my childhood uh, dream. When, like when you started this career, like like this hawker, what did your family and friends think about it, or like what did they tell you? Uh, okay, uh, at first when I decided to start this uh, business, then uh, uh, my parents are not very happy with it because they think that uh, it would be a waste for me to uh, study. Uh, a lot and then uh, they sent me Singapore to study for the engineer then I ended up selling food and being a hawker so they are not really happy with it they just want me to continue with my uh, engineering career but uh, after that uh, they see I am very passionate about this uh, uh, this career and then they let me try uh, they say that maybe I can try for a few years first maybe one or two years then if I change mind then Maybe uh, you can switch back to the engineering career, but uh, now it's already one year plus and I'm quite happy with it and my parents are start changing their opinion on the, uh, this, uh, my new career, so they are now being quite supportive to me. To, to be a hawker, how, how tough is it? Like, what time do you start op uh, opening and like, how, how much preparation is needed to go th to, to be done? Uh, okay, at the starting point, it's very tough because uh, well, we have to prepare the ingredients uh, starting like 6 a.m. in the morning. So uh, at first, I do all the things by myself. So, uh, but after a few months, that I realized that uh, it, it will not be a very ideal situation for me to do everything by myself. Because uh, if I do everything by myself, I cannot be in... Uh, focus on the operation of the shop and I cannot expand and I cannot do the marketing so I uh, 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 so I hire some of the part-time staff and the full-time staff to prepare the ingredients for me in the early morning uh, for example now it's like there is a part-timer in the shop who is helping me prepare the uh, ingredients and the soup before the shop is open so uh, at the starting point it's, uh, it's really tough because uh, uh, well, you, you, uh, I usually cook at home, but only uh, even like you do prepare the minced meat, you only do like uh, uh, maybe like 500 gram or 1 kg. But when you open a shop, you have to prepare the minced meat like 25 kg every morning and it's really tough. Yeah. Uh, wait, uh, for, to, for this, like such hawkers' careers to expand like what do, you, what do you think is needed to be done or like in Singapore, you know, like hawkers, what changes is needed to be done for more young youths to believe that, you know, a hawker, uh, being a hawker is also like um, a career that people can take up, you know, and believe. Uh, I think uh, first of all, we need to change the, uh, we need to change the opinion of the people. Uh, for example, like when I uh, speak to my, uh, when I talk to my uh, uh, ex colleagues, uh, when they say that, uh, okay, uh, after this job, what are you going to do next? Then when I tell them that I will be a, become a hawker, then they think that, uh, oh, oh, you should not go for the hawker. It will be very tiring and it will be very tough and it will be wasted. And a lot of uh, negative comments about uh, me changing from the engineering to the uh, hawker. So I think first of all, people need to think about uh, how the hawker career looks like. So to, to encourage the youngster to become a more hawker because 
actually hawker is not being a hawker is not a bad thing and uh, it's a good career so uh, people need to uh, understand this and uh, especially the uh, elderly and the parents they need to uh, understand this and encourage the uh, youngster you've been doing uh, you've been a hawker for quite a bit of time now do you, do you feel happy like would you, would you want to expand or like continue until you retire or whatever Ah uh, yes, yes. I'm very, very happy with the current result, and actually, I'm opening a new store in uh, next month in Yishun. Yeah, so uh, I will keep on expanding, and then uh, uh, I think uh, I will do this uh, uh, the business uh, until I retire. I'm quite enjoying uh, this uh, career. Do you think like hawker? There should be more use becoming a hawker, and like how much? Well, for the hawker culture, how much? What's the importance of this hawker culture to be brought down to the future generations? What's the important? Yeah, uh, is. Okay, actually, uh, Singapore is uh, being famous for having a lot of hawkers. Uh, from for me, I'm uh, I came from Myanmar, and in Myanmar, there is not much uh, hawker culture like this, and I feel it's a uniqueness of the Singapore. So we should pass down this culture to the young generation to continue with the uh, this. Uh, Singapore uniqueness now. So yeah. If there are more if youth wants to become hawkers, like do you have any words to tell them or whatever, like to encourage them, you know, to become a hawker and uh, okay. Uh, actually uh, being a hawker is uh, tough and tiring. But uh, I think uh, it is not uh, like I, I think maybe if you can manage it and uh, you can try to minimize uh, the workload of you having then it will not be as bad as you think la. so uh, you will have the, your own timing and you have your own free times and not like the office job 9 to 5 uh, you will have a lot of um, uh, uh, own leisure time if you can plan well la. so I think uh, hawker is a good choice of the career for your future okay thank you